Now we're getting breaking news out of the Pentagon. CNN's Barbara Starr is there for us. And Barbara, uh, there's an announcement about terror detainees at Guantanamo Bay. What are you hearing? Good evening, Brianna. Just a few moments ago, the Pentagon announced the single largest transfer of detainees out of Guantanamo of the Obama presidency. There are three men from Afghanistan, 12 from Yemen, 15 in all that are being transferred to the United Arab Emirates in the Persian Gulf. Now, these men had been under review for some time. Some of them had had their approvals approved some time ago, but now they have found a country willing to take them. It is not so much about the men themselves, though they stand alleged accused of various crimes. It is about what happens now with Guantanamo. The Obama administration very committed to trying to get as many out of there as possible. It is now down to 61 men at Guantanamo Bay in the height of it during the Bush presidency, over 600 or so. So the Obama administration wanting to shut it down. Donald Trump today, not related to this, but reiterating he, if elected, would keep Guantanamo open. And he's even talked recently about sending American citizens accused of terrorism to Guantanamo Bay. No indication, really, that the president's plan to shut it down is going to move through Congress anytime soon. But President Obama, by bringing the overall numbers now down to 61 and even maybe down further before he leaves office, leaves a dilemma for the next Congress, the next president. Do you really spend the money to keep just a handful there for an indeterminate period of time, or do you bring them to the United States? Brianna?